Hey guys, we're back at base camp and I made some updates to our day-to-day -day vehicle, the Kia Sorento. We updated the electrical system because we had the inverter that wasn't powerful enough, but now it's super powerful. But let's go inside the rig so that we can talk. Before I take you into the rig, I just wanted to share with you a couple of things that I did with it. We did update that inverter from the 1000 watt inverter to a 1500 watt inverter. And we also replaced the circuit breaker. We had a 30 amp circuit breaker that was on the battery system, but that was way too small. So we updated it and upgraded it to a 120 amp circuit breaker, which would allow us to use all of the things that we wanted to use. That include a microwave, toaster oven, coffee maker, electric kettle, and everything that draws a high amount of power with the battery system that we have. We also updated the batteries. We used the Chen's 12 volt, 120 amp hour batteries. We added an additional battery there to put us well over 3,000 watts of total power. So that's 2, 000, over 2,000 watts coming from the Chin's 12 volt Life Pro 4 batteries. And we have another 1,000 watt portable power station just for some backup added power if we ever needed it. We had extra power stations in the car, but it was just overkill. So we took those out. As you can see in the background, my kids love Fortnite. So we also updated the internet system inside of the car so that when I'm on the road, I can play Fortnite with them. And as you can see, it's loading up and it's just starting now. Grace, did you go to game with me while I'm at work? Yes. While I got work on break? When I'm camping in between hours? Yes. He's like, I don't care. He's over there watching his Fortnite. This is the new series that just updated. And as you know, those things take a long time to update. All right, let's go out into the Kia so I can show you everything we did. All right, I'm back inside the Kia. And the first thing that you're going to notice is that I do have up my shades to block off the back. These are blackout curtains. They do allow some light to get in. You can see some of the holes up there. And uh, but it, it keeps the heat inside. It is about 20 degrees outside. The car is not on and it feels like warmer inside of here. And once I put on our heat, it'll stay a lot warmer. Now, when I drive, of course, I'm not going to drive like this. Like the curtain is like kind of in my head. So I'll show you what I do with it. I'm going to put the camera down really fast so I can show you exactly what I do when I'm driving. So this... I just take this and I roll it all the way over. Of course, I got all my lights back there just to show you guys later on. But <laughs> I have two USB lights back there just to cut on. But I can put this to the side like that and I can still see out of all of my windows just as if I was driving with nothing in the car. And it's just a bungee cord that's holding the curtains up. And it's tight. The tighter you have it, the more it goes up. So it's pretty cool. And all I have to do when I stop before I get to a location, especially in the city, is draw the curtains back so that nobody can see what we have back there. Nobody can see that it's an actual bed back there. You still can see some light from up here, but from outside, it's very hard to see. So I'm going to grab this phone right back. And it's pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys a night view of how it looks too, but this is just how it looks when we first start out in the daytime. It blocks off that we have a bed and a fridge and everything back there. So if you're in a city, you don't have to worry about anybody knowing what you have. All right, let's check out the back. Like I said, now I'm in the back, but being in here has all its advantages. I had to turn off one light because it's right above me here, but I can come in here and play my video games I can watch TV. I have a lot of things in here, just like I would have in the home. <clears throat> I'm limited in what I can actually do inside of the rig just because the size. You know, I can't stand up. I can cook in here, but I'm limited in what I can cook in here. Like if I wanted to like make a full meal, like spaghetti bolognese or french toast or a grilled cheese i probably could do the grilled cheese in here but most of it i have to do outside i don't mind it though 
because it's like I can put a shade in the back just to keep the heat in while I'm cooking and then just close the trunk up when I'm ready to eat and come back inside here. <laughs> this is the area where I sit down and play video games or if I just don't want to be seen. You know, I'm just sitting, I can just sit here and relax. It's a nice, comfortable chair. It's great, you know, I can come and play my video games. As you can see, I'm looking around in there. It's, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> and like I said before, I'm a member of AT&T FirstNet, and that is one of the best programs that you can have. What's that symbol there? Looks like the game is starting. I thought we were having some internet connectivity issues, but we're not. It's just going to start the game. Round one begins. I don't know what this game is, but I'm going to start playing with my son with this. He's inside of the RV now. But this is totally great. I want to show you guys my window covers. And I want to show you guys how I lay down in here. Because that's another thing where people don't know how I lay down in here. So as you can see, I am playing on a small television. It doesn't draw much energy. And I have a police station that's right here. Right behind it is my makeshift window covers. They're not that great. But they do keep the light out and people from seeing exactly what i'm doing in here here's another one in the back and that's my back window you can see a bit out of it they're not perfect but they do the job for now of course i gotta make the front a little more perfect because you can still see back here just a little but it's not a lot you can see i can just like put some snaps up some velcro straps and strap the curtains up so you can't see that much back here but the video game is on i'm totally connected i can watch tv i can do a lot of things inside of here all right i'm laying down in the bed now a lot of people always ask me do you fit back there i can fit back here <laughs> i have to sleep at like a sort of an angle if i wanted to stretch out but i think that's the case for like anybody that's like over six feet and a van or whatever you build it unless you lay the bed the long way. But this is good enough for me. I have it. I'm going to show you in a second like how I am. I'm stretched out. If I want to stretch out more, I can just pull a pillow over here. And my head is like laying flat now. And I can just knock out so comfortably just like this. I have my Netflix on and I'm just relaxing. So like I said before, I am connected to the internet. So I can just scroll up and watch anything that I want to watch on Netflix. That's on. So that that that's pretty cool. Here's my fridge here. And here's my battery system. <laughs> it's a little updated from the one that you saw before. This is my battery monitor up here where I can see the battery is at 100%. And I was playing Fortnite and I have on the lights, <laughs> the refrigerator is plugged in. So it, it's, it's pretty cool. I have my life pole batteries down here hooked up in parallel. Everything is like bolted down so it can't come out. So it's pretty good. This is the 1500 watt inverter, the DC to DC charger. So the battery will automatically charge as soon as I turn on the car. So it's pretty cool. It's self-charging, self-sufficient, feels like free electricity. And behind the iPad here, I don't know if you can see it down there. That's another circuit breaker that I added just so that I can get more power out of these batteries. So I just lay that here and uh, I just watch all my films that I want to watch. It's pretty cool and then i control the lights from here so i turn that one off there and then there's another switch for this one over here and they're all just touch button so it goes off just like that and then if i wanted to cut it back on i just touch the button and it cuts back on <laughs> i know i can cover up these wires but i just don't now i do have a diesel heater that I'm going to use, but that one is not 
How can I say it's not stealth when I use that? People are going to know that I'm in here. So usually if I go camping, I'll put on a diesel heater and that has a, it goes on a step ladder on the wheel outside. And I just vent it into one of these windows. So that's how I use a diesel heater. But if I'm going to use a different type of heater, like I have a 200 watt electric heater, all I do is turn on my inverter that's already on and I turn on my heater. I'll show you right now. So here's that 200 watt heater that you can buy from Walmart. And all you have to do is click this switch here. And it turns on and it blows out nice heat. You can see once you turn it on, it's going to start pulling from the battery. The battery is going to go back to 100%. It usually does that as soon as you cut it on because of the high draw. But it's pretty cool. Oh, one thing that I didn't tell you guys is that we do have solar. This is the solar charge controller here. So all I have to do is hook up the wire. It's back here somewhere. Oh, I all see. Right. I had to like climb back there and untangle it. But this is a DC connection that I just connect to a solar panel. So it's pretty cool. I have a female to female adapter that I put on top of this. And it works really well. One thing I won't do with this heater is that I won't leave it on for long periods. I am on top of an electric blanket. I will use the electric blanket more because it's more energy efficient. It only uses about 100 watts of power, but it cuts off. It fluctuates on and off. So this electric blanket is much better to use than the electric heater. Because this would just warm your body up instead of warming the entire area, which is going to warm anyway, because you have all of these window covers and everything on. So the heat that's generated from your body and this electric blanket is just going to stay in the vehicle longer. So with this thing, you can turn it up. That's four, five, six. That's the highest setting is six. And you can also have a timer for it, which is really good. And when you put the timer on it, you can set it for eight hours. You can set it for seven or six. I will set it for about six hours and then fall asleep because it's just going to cut off. And the way that these things work is that they fluctuate. So it will heat up. It will turn off. Then it will heat up again. Then it will turn off. So it's pretty cool the way that they work where if you have it on six hours it's not going to use 600 watts and as i said before it burns about 100 watts to uh to turn on but like once it turns off it's not gonna use 100 watts so you're looking at maybe 400 watts or even less for the six hours of use so it's pretty good now all this time i've been in the car i've been using the electric heater playing the video game watching netflix and as you can see having double batteries of 12 volts 100 amp hours it's pretty cool because as soon as you turn things off that's using a surge you're going to see that the battery goes right back up so here's a look at the battery again it went down but it went right back up and we didn't do anything as soon as i turn the car on it's going to charge all the way back to a full 100 it says 100 now but it's going to charge all the way back up and the solar charge controller says 12.7, 12.8. That will go back into the 13 volt category as soon as we turn on the car. And I feel this thing heating up and it feels great. And I'll tell you another thing. If you bring one of those sleeping bags in here or just another quilt, it'll be more than enough. It's 20 degrees outside. The car is not on. All I have on is an electric blanket and it's really nice in here. I can't believe how cool it is in here, well warm it is in here. I'm going to have to figure out an option for the summer when the summer comes. I think they have that zero breeze thing. I'll try that out. But for the winter, this thing is like, it's really cool. It's like I'm feeling warm. You know, you don't feel the elements from outside. I can feel a little cold on my toes, but that's because I don't have anything on my toes. I'll let you see now. Well, I have socks on, so it's not that cringe. So here's my legs fully extended. Let me see if I can turn off this light. 
so that you know that you guys can really get the view of it sometimes i got to get up to see where the switch is oh, you can see it better with the light on but that's me fully extended i'm sideways just a little bit you know when i sleep i don't sleep like that i usually sleep on my side so i don't need that much space but i do got enough space in here if i wanted to put my feet like that and relax it's, it's pretty nice but as you sleep the closer you get to that door that's the cold there it is so i'm gonna have my feet in a blanket or something but it still feels nice if you're interested in this electric blanket from bedsure i did get it from amazon i have a link in the description in our overlander store and and, and the amazon storefront just to make it easier for anybody that wants to get the products that we use all of this stuff is listed in our amazon storefront all you have to do is click the link and it takes you right there. Again, Amazon does throw us a small commission for the things that you purchase through our links. So if you do purchase it through our links, thanks for that. It helps out the channel. It doesn't change the price of the product. It's just Amazon's way of saying thank you for referring you to the product. But thanks in advance for that. This is from BedSure. It's a great product. I really like it. Look at all the functions that it has on it. I don't know if it comes out that well in the camera, but it has a up and down toggle where you can turn down the heat as much as you want. You can also turn it off with the power button. So it just come up there just a little bit. And you can also put on the timer. So when you hit the timer, it will tell you how long it's left for it to go on. And the most that you can keep it on that I've seen is eight hours. No, it's 10. The most you can keep it on is 10 hours. But I program it for about six hours because that's the amount of time that I use before I'll fall asleep. And it's not just going to get really cold. It's just going to be warm. And then you can wake up and turn it right back on. So that's the cool thing about it. But you want it to go off so that you don't like drain through your battery while you're knocked out because you can turn it right back on if you get a little bit cold. And this is really cool. And by the way, if you're using a 200 watt heater, just think about it. That 200 watt heater is going to be burning 200 watts all the time, right? But if you get two electric blankets, one on the bottom of you and one on the top of you, oh, you feel so much warmer than that one electric heater burning that 200 watts. And you're probably using less than 200 with two electric blankets. That's the best thing. It's nothing better than feeling warm on a cold, cold winter day. This will keep you real nice. I just realized that I have on my back window covers the wrong way. That black portion is supposed to face outside. The silver portion is supposed to face inside to keep the heat in. That's why they didn't fit the right way. I'm like, why are they not fitting right? It's because I have them upside down going in the wrong direction. I was rushing putting them up, but I'm going to fix that. But here's the other side. I mean, I did this really fast and used duct tape to hold it on. But it's aluminum for you with the cardboard. And the back side is just, it's only a black plastic bag. That's the only thing that I used. But it helps keep the heat in. You feel a significant difference from outside. Even in the front, it's, it's warmer. It's probably just the way that this car is built. Don't mind my dishes. They usually go under the bed, but whenever I cook something like I did the other day and I wash the dishes, sometimes I just throw them right there in the bag, but they usually go under the bed. Then just to go to show you again, I just turned off the inverter and it's still 100% and the solar charge controller went back to 13.0. Now, when I'm overlanding somewhere and I'm not stealth, oh my God, the power is going to be almost unlimited because I'm not going to have to turn on the car. I can throw the solar panels on top of the roof that I already have in the car underneath the bed. And that's just going to keep providing energy to store in my batteries that is freaking awesome 
over 300 amp hour of battery in the car accessory battery not main battery that's pretty cool all right here's a look at the outside of the rig from back to front again guys i'm at base camp so you cannot see inside nothing is thrown it's pretty cool and you go around to the front again you can't see the back what's inside the back so it's pretty cool i remembered when you have this type of build out or any type of build out when you're in like a city location or many locations where you go you want to put up your window covers because you don't want to show everybody what's in your car <laughs> a lot of break-ins happen and you don't want them to get a lot of your price possessions that you worked hard for so putting up your window covers is a great thing especially if you have fridges with lights on it battery monitors anything that's going to flash a light the thieves know what's in your car so you want to try to block all of that out and that's what i tried to do i did it kind of slowly which i should have made that my first priority but the best thing is is that i got it done please continue to stay tuned to a lot of these videos we're going to be traveling all across whether we in the tahoe pulling this rig right behind me or it's going to be me with the dog and me with the kids or me with my wife going all around the east coast with this uh small suv the tahoe is more comfortable but this one it has the place of our heart because uh it's built out and it's nice you can do a lot in it as well as the tahoe but i want to put it to the test when the winter weather comes but it, it's really cool again if you like these videos hit the like button and like so for free and please if you stuck around this long consider subscribing we would love to have you aboard we love having new followers just to share our adventures with so please hit that subscribe button we really appreciate that we also love the comments. If you have any questions, you can ask us anything that you want. We always respond back. So please hit us up with a comment. We'll respond as prompt as we can. And I hope that we'll be able to help you out. Our Patreon page has launched. So if you want, you can support us in that way. There's also a thanks button down below this video. Anything that we get for the channel goes right back into the channel just so that we can continue these adventures and bring you entertainment throughout the year. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay outside, everybody.